It's that time of the year again. The Epcot International Food and Wine Festival is back. So that means we're gonna be trying a ton of delicious food and drinks today. So let's head to, into the park and do it. With every new festival comes some new merchandise, which is exactly what we're gonna check out right now. In the creation shop, they're gonna have everything from the collection. So let's head on in and see what they have. This bag is freaking adorable. It is the Epcot themed food and wine. And what I really love about it is there's food all over it. We have hamburgers, mushrooms, cheese, carrots. Very, very cute. And I love this like blue color scheme on it. We found a top for the festival. I think it's hideous and you. I love it. Okay, so help us decide. Hideous or cute? I think it is adorable. <laughs> it looks just like the bag and it has the food everywhere. I just, I'm sad they don't have it in an extra small right now. I don't know why I don't like it. I think it just looks like a mess to me. I what love do you it. guys think? There's tacos, so I'm sold. I think I found two other of my favorite merch items. This t-shirt is really cute. It's kind of a heather material. And you have the International Food and Wine logo on the back. And then look how cool this hat is for you burger fans. It's that choose your course, just like on the Mickey ears. I really like it. We made it to the Brew Wing Lab at the Odyssey. Now this little place has some of the newer food items for the festival. Uh, it's kind of funny because the Muppets actually concocted some experimental food. So we have some food-based experiments and some beverage-based experiments. Today we are going to try to get the orange cardamom wings, which sound uh, delicious. I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be kind of like an orange chicken, you know? I mean, obviously it's gonna be orange chicken, but wings. And then we are gonna try the frozen fusion drink, which is Twinings pomegranate and raspberry herbal tea fused with orange ice cream molecules. Get it? Wow, look at all this decor in here. This is so cool. They apparently were testing an electric pickle. This is probably for that electric drink that we're talking about. Oh, look at all the lab, like the, what do they call it? The lab tools, right, and flasks and things. These are live, they're measuring, measuring uh, food items for their the electric zone. pickles. <laughs> I still can't believe they so have cool. a pickle milkshake. I know, I saw that, I was like, I don't know about that. They actually have the signs over here for their two drinks. So oh, the there we go. molecular formula and your frozen pickle milkshake. That's so funny. Oh, look. They also um, did studying on the brain freeze, also known as the Spinopalatine ganglion neuralgia. Look at them up here, babe. Oh, look! The Muppets are here! You know, I don't know if we should be eating food made by these two. We might be taking a risk. Yeah, you know, it's okay. I think we have some Pepto in my bag. Alright, let's go grab it. We ordered our food, it is coming, and it's really cute that all the servers are wearing lab coats. I love it so much. It's it really so cool. adds to the brewing experience. I know. Okay, I'm going to try this. It was, what was it called? Something Fusion? Yeah. Frozen Fusion. Frozen Fusion. I think. Frozen Fusion. Yeah. It's got pomegranate, orange juice, and seeds. It's like I think it has some raspberry in it, and the little molecules of ice cream are right on top. Tart. Um. So I love it. Okay. It's super raspberry. Oh so no. I don't think you're gonna like it, but I think this is delicious. It's wow, so good. really good. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give it a go. I know I don't typically like raspberry, but we'll see. I love the mug it comes in. Turn it around. Sharp alert, yum. Oh, it's like all their little notes from creating it. Half full or half empty, your call. Oh, I love that. Beverage at reduced capacity, in imminent danger of being empty, and vessel void of That's cool. 
Maybe I should try the, oh, the, the molecules on top are yeah. a little bit, oh, the, oh I can't They're like, that. they're kind of like dipping dots. Ooh. Good, orange, Very right? Very good, yeah, orange. Love this, try this. I'm a little concerned now that I know there's a lot of raspberry, but let's see. It's not bad, you know? I haven't had raspberry in a really long time and it has kind of more of a bitter flavor. Bitter? It's so sweet. It is sweet. I actually do like this. Really? Yeah, surprisingly I do. I'm gonna mix those in. Is that okay? Yeah. It's a I know. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if I can mix a little more of this orange flavor in. I love that it's a slushy too. Oh, I got some of the orange. Mix it in. Oh, okay. I like it. This is really good. I definitely would recommend this. I'm not sure about that pickle milkshake though. All right, time to dig into these orange cardamom wings. Like Estella said earlier, I'm thinking these are kind of going to be like an orange chicken flavor, but they look really good. Yeah? Oh yeah. Awesome. It's very orange chicken. It's um kind of like a orange chicken mixed with a sweet and sour sauce. Very delicious. The chicken's cooked really well. Would definitely recommend this. We were thinking about the impossible um, buffalo ones, but I'm so glad we did this. This is the way to go. I can't wait to try it. Is it my turn yet? No. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, baby, dig on in. All right, let's see. I'm gonna finish the one you started. Get that chicken. Good, right? That is oh. way better than like Buffalo Wild Wings or any wing stop or anything. These oh are freaking good. These are so good. You should have gotten two of these. I told you we were gonna need more. It's okay, we're gonna make another stop for more food. This is really good. Like five out of five, 10, 10 out of 100. Yeah. Recommended. Eat. We're over at the fry basket where they have all french fries over here and we're actually going to be getting the fry flight which has the uh, sea salt and malt vinegar barbecue bacon fries. How delicious does that sound? And some sweet potato fries with a casserole. Um, but they also have these adobo yucca fries that sound really good. We're not going to get them this time, maybe next time. But if you are looking for french fries, including some pickle fries with Dill Ranch, yum. This is where you go. Let's hop in line and grab some french fries. These look really yum yum. I know. I'm really glad we ended up going with this. I really wanted to try the yuca adobo fries, yeah. but that would have just been too many french fries. That would have been too many. So we have the sea salt and vinegar fries. Malt vinegar. Malt vinegar. This is the barbecue with the candied bacon, right? Barbecue bacon fries. Oh, just barbecue bacon With fries. smoked aioli. Ooh, aioli. And then we also have the sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow cream, which we got on the, on side, the side because they're dairy and she's allergic. And it also has a maple bourbon glaze. I'm excited. Delicious. Right. Okay. Go for the vinegar one first. Okay. Let's see. You were excited about those. Yeah, they just they just sound good. I mean, I like salt and vinegar chips. Sea salt and vinegar is delicious. How are we feeling? Not sure. It's the malt vinegar. You don't like it. It's very different. I love vinegar. I don't love malt vinegar. Mm. Oh, that was better. Better? Second bite? Let me see. I like it. You like them? The malt vinegar is, if you haven't had malt vinegar, it's that like dark brown vinegar. Yeah. And it has a different taste, but it's really good. I These are the ones I'm excited okay, for. Okay, let's see. Barbecue. And Barbecue then, bacon let's fries. Let's get some of this bacon on there. Deep fried french fries and bacon. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, good? Wow. Okay. Oh, no! Fry it's okay. down! <laughs> she saved it. Thir five five, five second, second rule. It's three seconds for theme parks. Oh. So good. Okay. That one is legit good, yes. Right. They are really sweet. I love that. Sweet, spicy, yeah. really savory. I love that. And then we have the sweet potato and there's some pecans on top. I'm not going to try it with the marshmallow, so let me see how it is without it. It's pecans. That's like a dessert French fry. Oh, that's my kind that's of French fry That's my favorite right so far. Okay. That's my favorite. You're gonna try it with the toasted marshmallow? Yes, first without. Oh my God. Right? Cold. That it's is like delicious. A, it tastes like something I've had before. Right? I know, I can't like put my finger on it Like a candy of some kind. Good with the marshmallow? Ooh, with oh, the marshmallow is very good. No, you can't have any. 
I'm not gonna try. I've made that mistake too many times. It's kind of like a like a churro. Oh, kind of. That is what it reminds me of. That's it's it. Like a churro. Oh my god, scare the bejesus out of me. Jesus Christ. All right. So out of the three, which one's your favorite? What's it? What's number one? We'll rank mm. them one to three. One. One. Okay. Same. Two. Same. Three. Same. Yep. But all good though. They are all great. Yeah. It's nice to have a variety, and you have that like sweet and savory, and then like your if you want that tart kind of hit you in the mouth kick, <laughs> you have that too. But the, the, you did not make that sound good. Kick you in the mouth. French fry. It's not always a bad thing. They're still really good though. I'm glad we got those. Yeah, Delicious. me too. All right, we're gonna finish them now. Bye bye. I have never seen so many birds. Look out on the island out there, all these birds, and then wait, yeah. wait for it. Look at them perched up in the tree. <laughs> what the heck? What are they doing up there? This one's king of the rock. <laughs> So we were just walking by and I saw this little place called Cork Tunes and they're artists that will draw a cartoon on a tiny cork and put in a little dome for you as a decoration. How cool is that? So I just kind of took a look. I was, I was spying on other people's cartoons and they looked so good. I just had to get one. My sister is a huge wine lover. So I was like, yep, present for no reason. Just just because it's that cool. So definitely check it out. She did give me a business card, um, so like you can contact them afterwards. So we'll see. If it turns out good, I'll just have to get something to hold it. It came out so good. She did it so fast. It was like five minutes, I kid you not. It looks exactly like her pictures. I'm so excited. Little fun fact I just learned is in the village here in Germany, if you look closely at the town, the flags that are in there change for every festival, so they have little food and wine festival flags in their village. How flipping cute is that? <laughs> so make sure to check out at every festival the little village here in Germany and see how they celebrate. It's the little things. It is. I love it. What are we doing in Germany? Well, I had some chicken, I had some french fries, I had a drink, so now I need dessert. We got the apple strudel, but it was so crowded over there by Germany that we came to China to eat the German apple strudel. So, you know, that's fine. Um, apple pie is my favorite kind of pie. Pecan pie is like, okay, pumpkin pie, no. Blueberry pie, no. Apple pie is where it's at. So I'm actually really excited about this. And it comes with a vanilla sauce. That yeah. looks really good too. All right, all I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna do it without the sauce first. Okay. Yummy. Mm -hmm. What's the, the crust of it like? Is it softer, crispy? Soft. Okay. It's soft, yeah. Um, that's what's real different about it, because like I'm used to, you know, like a like a crumbly crust, but mm -hmm. this is definitely a soft type of crust. It kind of tastes like uh, like the, the, the texture, kind of like a crepe. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna do this. Whoa, uh, but yeah, it's really good. It's not like my absolute favorite. I'd give it a 3.8 out of five. It's tasty, it's good. If I wanted something apple-y, I would definitely go go for this. Um, but uh, yeah, actually the, the vanilla, it's not my, my favorite part. I think that's the part I don't like. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We hope you enjoyed a little slice of food and wine here at Epcot. And if you did, make sure to continue hanging out with us for our mini Disney World adventures including our Animal Kingdom rope drop day where we rode Flight of Passage for the first time. That was legit. Fire. Total fire. Come hang out with us there. Bye.